continuing. Yeah, there's the sh there's the showgrounds over there. The stadium where you watch the stock cars and sidecars and that. There's a vaccination station over there, I think. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'll have a good look after when I go past here. That's Pascal Street, I used to live down there. This is Cuba Street. I used to live down here when I was a little baby. I was born in Palmerston North Hospital, really. I used to live in a flat and they, my dad called me Bradford after this dry and dye company, you know, dry cleaner shop. Out of it, history. Sorry if I bleed on, but I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. See, if you order vaccine pass required for entry to go to the stock cars too. I can't even watch the stock cars. If that's not a second class citizen, I don't know what's up. Ah. They must just open this station every now and then. But if it's that safe busy, it should be open, shouldn't it? Can you see? It's a good times at the old uh, stadium, two concerts and new stock cars. There's a cafe to Paris, it's just down there on the right. Street, down David Street. Some of the stock car guys used to drink down there too when it was pumping. It was really, really rocking then. In the old days, in the 80s and 90s, it was like when heavy metal was like that, pretty, you know, harder up then. Don't see many around Palmerston North now, really. There's a few. But they're not like the ones that have come from the 80s, it's a different breed kind of thing. Yeah, see, that should be pumping. Yeah, should be pumping. If that busy, they'd be using all the facility they could have, wouldn't, wouldn't they? You've got to start asking yourself questions. People say on the Facebook Warrior and that, but you get a bit anywhere. You can get off the New Zealand government sites. Some government sites and that, like, they have little icons that they put into another page so they're harder to find. And then they pass these laws behind our back and it's only like on the government channel, really, it's not on the public news and then they're like they're always hiking up the the bad stuff you're like when I when I come out of the toilet at that church that day there was a reporter and I took a couple of photos of him and I posted them and I says oh you know I said to him uh, nothing to do at the moment he goes no nah, no nah, nothing to do or something and I says uh there's heaps in there, uh, heaps in, inside Parliament you get to be uh, reporting on. And they having this security guard just looked at me and looked away, you know. But, uh, you know, on, there's Bowlerama, they play video games and pulled tables and bowling. They used to have a 10 pin bowling up to Main Ave, up the other side of town, up north. There's change sheets there. Look at all those COVID signs around and shit. Yeah. Yeah, down there, I helped set up a few bands in that. There was a sound of a band in there at the Royal one time, Jungle Tongue, that was pretty much. And uh, this band plant people. And my cousin's band like come up from here to play at the cafe. Here's the Roadhouse Rebels, man. Yeah. Well, I've talented dudes. Most of the guys are some people in there this place here. Yeah, they've changed that church. It's a legacy church now. That's the old Mary Battalion, but then it was a nightclub a few times. Yeah, one time these bouncers, oh, I had some leather pants on and he, he dragged me. He said, you can't get in with those. And I said, well, I've got into the Saturday nightclub. Well, and he goes, in there and he like shoulders me and I just shoulder him off me and then he t pulls me out the front door and 
told them to take me to the ground and just kicking me over going, doing some more, doing some more, and I just took it and left them there. There's some clowns in those days. Car sales. Mary Battalion Hall. There used to be flats over in that corner too, and I used to visit people there. In all these houses, there used to be houses down this street, Burke Street. One night I heard about 200 bikes going past. Which, they was out of it, a big rumble. The biggest rumble I've heard of bikes. Because of the air. Mash trust though onto that, what that's for me to help. Do they do a real good job about it? There's a Chinatown. <sighs> Distinction Hotel. I used to work for one of these places up in um Fongaroo, but it was called Settlers Motel, but then they went under their wing. Yeah, they had the real big chef from the big one in, in the town. So yeah, he was a bit of a clown. They always try and take me down, you know. No matter what. If you work real hard, they want more out of you. They'll squeeze everything they want out of you. And then you don't get rewards for like people that get on with them work really well. Well, I call them note, brown noses or you know, I could call them worth me, but that's a dance zone. So you've seen they'll take music and dance in a way if they get their way, if you know what I mean. Well, that's a gym. Not many people in there because probably the COVID stuff and that. All the spacing and all that. There's a nice restaurant and uh, one of one I remember one time there was a real big, uh, like an open festival there day and they had the bands and everything, it was cool. This used to be the probation officer. I used to go to there for probation. When I was about 18 I got, I went and moved in this house and I think there had been a drug deal in there before and it must have been something to school kids. And I'd only been there two weeks and I was a bit sloppy and you know, I admit I used to sell them. And uh, they framed me for selling to those miners and they didn't even have any real, real facts, you know. I was pretty out of it. Yeah, people look at me because I'm on my heavy metal stuff and they think, oh, what's that?